We are awaiting the announcement of the Jon Snow series this coming December 9th. But it doesn't mean that we don't already have news and rumors about this series. There are many characters whose stories were left inconclusive in Game of Thrones, and many of us fans want to see them back. Such is the case of the Lady of Winterfell. One who was hated for her innocence and arrogance, who paid the price for despising her family. Today we will talk about the return of Sansa Stark to Jon Snow's series. A return which could represent the transformation of Sansa as the villain of the story. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. And if you want to participate in our Fonka Pops giveaway, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and tell us what was your favorite moment from the House of the Dragon. The winner will be announced on November 20th. To understand why Sansa could be the villain, or the antagonist of the Jon Snow series, we must understand the journey she has been through. When we first met Sansa in Game of Thrones she was just a child, with dreams of marrying a prince, becoming queen someday, and having children. Quite the opposite of her sister Arya, who thought that was a boring life, and preferred to travel and have adventures. Sansa was arrogant since she was a child and despised Jon Snow, because although he was her half-brother, he was not considered completely part of her family. We can say that Sansa, in a way, also despised Arya, because she did everything that a princess is not supposed to do, in addition to embarrassing her. Sansa's dreams are fulfilled when she is promised to Joffrey Baratheon. She would finally marry a prince and become queen. But life had many surprises in store for the young wolf. First, her father was accused of treason, and for that reason his life was taken. Sansa is kidnapped by the Lannisters and then forced to marry the king's uncle. She later escapes with Littlefinger, and Littlefinger attempts to have her. Then in the Vale, her own aunt begins to doubt her. Sansa then ends up in the hands of Ramsay, a cruel tyrant who ends up traumatizing the young Stark. Sansa got everything she wanted, achieved all her dreams, at the cost of her family. She learned that life was very different from what she imagined, and that she would never allow herself to be in the situation she had been in. Sansa learned from her enemies, to become a better leader. She became Queen of the North, and proved that she is a better leader than many men in Westeros. In the last episode of Game of Thrones, Sansa voted for her brother to become the new King of the Seven Kingdoms, and fought to stop Jon Snow from being handed over to the Unsullied. Sansa is now the new Queen of Winterfell, and she will be willing to fight to defend her family's kingdom. Now, what will happen to Sansa in the Jon Snow series, and why might Sansa become the villain of the story? Before speculating about this character, we must first know Sophie Turner's opinion about her return to this universe. In an interview with Variety, she was asked if she would be willing to return to this universe. This interview occurred in 2020, and there was a discussion about the spin-offs that HBO was creating. Sophie said the following, and I quote, I would give anything to go back to what we had but it wouldn't be the same. It would be different, with different people directing. I don't want to be part of it. Unless they give me a lot of money. I think this is one of the most honest answers we have had from any actor. They all tend to evade these kinds of questions. It's almost as if it is really hard to say whether they would come back or not, and they rarely talk about the money. But Sophie is honest and mentions that if they give her a lot of money, then she would come back. This opens the possibility that we could see Sansa again, because knowing that Game of Thrones is one of the most successful series of all time, obviously HBO could offer a significant amount of money to the actress for her return. Sophie understands the business. However, since 2020, things have changed. Today we know that Kit Harington is creating a series and other actors will possibly return to the story. 
A few days before the end of the House of the Dragon, we saw the actress posting a picture of Sansa Stark sitting in Winterfell. Sophie Turner posted this image to remind everyone that Sansa Stark is the queen at Winterfell. The fact that the actress is posting these images in the days when news about Jon Snow's series are also coming out, we don't think it's a coincidence. But would it make sense for Sansa to return in the Jon Snow series? or become the antagonist. Sansa is one of the most important characters that should return to the series. She is the Queen of Winterfell, the highest authority close to Jon Snow, and is part of the few family members he has left. Jon was sent to the Night's Watch in the North, and possibly he could visit Winterfell, just as his uncle did. Perhaps Jon will have a conflict with Sansa, if she begins to reign in a manner similar to that of Cersei Lannister. Maybe she becomes cruel to her own, and the people begin to demand that Jon return as King of the North. Let's remember there was a time in the series that Jon was the one leading the men from Winterfell. It would not be unusual for them to demand that Jon be the one to remove Sansa out of power. If Sansa becomes Jon Snow's series villain, it would be a very difficult decision for Jon. Jon Snow ended the life of his aunt, his beloved queen, to spare the lives of Westeros, but more so that of his sisters. But what will happen if his sister starts to behave like Daenerys and becomes cruel? Will Jon repeat history and eliminate Sansa, or will he take another path? Jon Snow is the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, but also to the throne of Winterfell. Certainly a conflict between Sansa and Jon would be very interesting. I don't think Sansa's story would be one where she is in danger and Jon has to rescue her, as that is something we already saw in the Battle of the Bastards. I believe that if again the Seven unite Sansa and Jon's paths, it won't be to save her, but for Jon to save the kingdom from her. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Could Sansa become the new Cersei? Leave me your opinion in the comments. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.